Hey everyone, welcome to Wild Breakaway with Tom Chorsky. I'm Audra Martin. We all knew coming into this one against the Montreal Canadiens it was going to be a great game. you got two of the best goaltenders going head-to-head and both teams bring a top offense and top defense to the ice. It certainly lived up to the expectations, but the Wild fans are the ones who leave this one happy because it was a huge 4-2 win. A great victory for the Wild tonight. Yeah, a lot of uh, grit shown by the Wild in that they gave up the first goal, they answered it, uh, gave up the second goal, they kept bouncing back, they kept finding a way, uh, scored some shorthand, scored a shorthanded goal, and uh, set up another nice goal by J- by Jared Spurgeon. So the Wild just, I thought, played hard played gritty, kept finding a way, and they did a great job against another strong team. Well, here's a look at tonight's final stats. They do get the win despite being outshot 34-27 to in a huge night on the penalty kill for the Minnesota Wild, killing off all four penalties. Also, like you said, getting that shorthanded goal from Eric Stahl. This win means now they've matched a franchise best nine straight wins. But that's just matching the franchise best. That's great, right? Well, maybe not, according to the head coach. Yeah, tying is like kissing your sister. It's getting getting it is uh, is is the nice thing. So I mean, uh, our job's not done, and we're going to try our butts off tomorrow. And I'm sure New York, uh, after getting beat seven two, is going to be ready to chomp in at the get at the bit to get to us. So uh, it should be it should be another really good challenge for us. Well, to avoid the whole kissing your sister fiasco, the Wilds can do that with a big win against a very tough opponent tomorrow night, the New York Rangers. Then, of course, they take a break for the holidays, and then they'll get back to work against the National Predators, and then they'll take on the New York Islanders on Thursday. So a couple good matchups for the Minnesota Wild, but, of course, first things first. It's that game against the Rangers, a very tough team, playing great hockey, but the Wild got it done tonight. So now it's just a matter of if they can do it back-to-back games. Yeah, it's going to be a challenge for back-to-back, but uh, the Rangers lost to the Penguins 6-2 to two the other day, so if the Wild can uh, figure out the same sort of strategy, maybe they uh, can can take it to the Rangers, but I imagine it would be a lot closer game than that. But uh, Wild in a really good spot right here, going into a second game. They got the two points in that first game. Kind of takes the pressure off the second game. Hopefully they leave it all on the ice because there's a few days to rest uh, at uh, holidays after that. And a 10-game winning streak would be a pretty nice Christmas present for all those wild fans and of course the players as well so we'll see if they can get it done tomorrow night we hope you join us for wild live in the meantime for tom chorsky i'm audra martin thanks for joining us on tonight's wild breakaway